was your first experience where you realized that money was important? Uh, and, that, and also the second question, did you ever realize that money and wealth were two different things? Getting paid and building wealth were two different things. But that's the second question. So the minute my dad passed, you know, before when he was alive, we was we was all one big family. Uh, I can say they weren't together, but my dad he was he was all in my life. Like he made okay. sure it was all very, you know, what I'm saying cooperative with each other. It was no bad luck anything. But the minute he passed, he was kind of like the the major breadwinner. Like things died down for the family tremendously, you know. So like Christmases wasn't the same, birthdays wasn't the same. Like the way we eat, you know, mm -hmm. the clothes we had, like everything just started real low and real, you know what I'm saying, scarce around it. So uh, that's when it, it kind of really hit me, you know, uh, how, how much money, ha you know, can affect someone's life. And not really just more about the life, but uh, from happiness and, to, you know what I'm saying, to monetary things that goes on and just plenty more. So um, ever since then, man, I just kind of had it on my mind. I've been a very money hungry person, but not literally just, you know what I'm saying, to have all the money in the world, but just to get back to the times that it was when my dad was around, you know what I'm saying, to where my brothers and sisters, they can get everything that they asked for. They never feel like they have to, you know what I'm saying, want for anything or they ever feel like they have to go steal or ask anyone else for something. I don't want them to ever be in that position to where they feel like they can't ask me. So um, ever since then, it's kind of been on my mind, like, man, to work hard, just give it everything I want, take care of my family, and then kind of go from there. And then to the second question, Oh, I learned money and wealth is I started paying attention at a young age. My mother, she started trying to teach me about it. So my mother, she worked her tail off. And it was times like I barely saw my mother. Like she either she'll come home really late. And like by the time I get a chance to see her in the morning, she either up again, gone before we is, or she either just knocked out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she just getting home late. Yeah. So we call her yeah. just it. You gotta just let it be what it be. So um when just watching her watching her work that hard and just watch other families and we all in the same situations at school and you know from being the same the guy that wear the same clothes you know what i'm saying multiple days straight or the same shoes for a month straight and then i start watching you know you know they, they say it's not really a good thing to you know what i'm saying to admire other people lifestyles but um mm -hmm. i stopped how other people and how their families are and i kind of had that idea like man kind of want to get there like you never know what people are going through but from the outside looking in um, I learned the difference between money and wealth, just not how like, you know, money, the rich, I'm gonna say rich and wealth, rich yes, is very right. moment, you know what I'm saying? And wealth is very long term when you're making money, when you're not working anymore, when you literally, you know what I'm saying, stay in bed all day and make money, not just have money, but make money, you know what I'm saying? You steady yeah. have some kind of, you know what I'm saying, multiple assets and all that, so I learned that at a young age, and me and my mother, uh, she kind of been trying to preach it to me, and, and I'm I'm so grateful for her for just for putting that in my head at such a young age, and now being 20, 21 years old, you know what I'm saying, at the status I am now, um, it kind of I kind of just having that mindset like she from now like I can even tell you then my mother like we don't wear designer things and all that. I mean it's nothing wrong it's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with it, but you yeah. know like I can say in our community kind of have a you know a thing for being who who dress the best and the flashes who who looks like they have the most money and rather than like man am I you know the guys like Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg you know those guys they come out in regular clothes every day if if them guys wasn't famous or known worldwide you wouldn't know they were billionaires and trillionaires right. they look like guys walking across the street so those things that like that that caught my attention man and every day like I say I go in I try to that I can find long uh, ways to where it can help me and my family, but not after I get that situation, just help everyone else because I just have a big heart and I want to help as many people as possible that was in the situation I'm in, or even if they were in better situations, so we all get that status and that level to where we can have generational wealth and we can take care of each other. What What's the best piece of financial advice that you think you've gotten so far on your journey? It probably just be just don't be trying like don't try to keep up with anyone. Yeah, uh, I just feel like especially with the position that God blessed me in to be you know picked up in the route that I was picked up. You know what I'm saying to to get that lump sum change. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll always be you know like like you said it's okay to give yourself some type of reward every now yeah. and then. Like, uh, it's kind of like, with me it's kind of the bigger picture. You know, I, honestly. 
uh, don't think this is weird, but uh, I kind of have like a picture of Jeff Bezos uh, like on my wall. And, That's uh, not just, weird. Just to That's remind me what we aiming, you know what I'm saying? What we aiming towards, you know, like I really idolize him a lot. Um, I don't know too much, like deep down, like the real business nitty gritty of it, but you know right. what I'm saying? Outside in, but how, like how he's, you know what I'm saying? The generational wealth and the, the mm -hmm. amount of ins uh, assets he's created for himself and the, you know what I'm saying? The excess of income he's been bringing in. Um, that's something, something amazing. And then to seem like he's always top in his most recent project with the next thing he's coming out with and coming out with. Um, that's something that like, I feel like is amazing that I want to do. And eventually, once I get to that level, man, just kind of spread the spread the wealth and spread the knowledge that, you know what I'm saying, was given to me and that I have. And hopefully more people, we all end up on the same level. Uh, let me just ask you this, this last question. What, uh, two questions. What does financial um, freedom mean to you? Um, and I'll, I'll just tell you, for me, you know, money for me just means the ability to do what I want whenever I want, however I want, and to express myself without reservation and to help as many people as I can. What does financial freedom mean to you? And number two, what advice do you have? If you could go look back at the, you know, 15-year-old you, what advice would you give yourself that's different from what you, you, you realize right now? Uh, one financial freedom to me would probably be similar to what you said most definitely to be able to do what you want, when you want, how you want it, without having to suffer any consequences or have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, if it kind of puts you in any type of debt or any type of worry, uh, it's definitely something that I feel like everybody's aiming for in, in, in the world. Uh, if not, probably should be aiming for that. And uh, if I can go back and give myself something, it'd probably be start early. Start trying to learn this early, get myself a head start. Man, I can tell you now, like, I'm just so, I feel like I'm so ahead for my age. Like I don't play video you games. Are. I don't, I feel like I don't do a lot of the things that the average 21 year old do. Like I don't go out or, you know what I'm saying? Do any type of those things. Um, I'm all, my free time, I kind of read or I kind of look into the stock market and anything. So if I knew this back when I was 15 years old, like I said, the $20 or whatever the case, back when, when I was 15, I think it was Bitcoin. Bitcoin oh, yeah. wasn't that popular. Yeah. If I would have knew a Bitcoin back when I was 15 and collect as much money as I can, even on my birthday, just like, man, however much I got, just put it all into that, man. And, and now <laughs> sitting on the Bitcoin now market, how much that's making people, I wish I could have done that. So I definitely wish people, not necessarily just stocks, but just in general, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to trying to start generational wealth, start early. Don't just sit there and kind of just, you know what I'm saying, blow by time and just use the excuse because you're a teenager or you're young and you have time. Start as early as you can and get there and get where you want to be. That's right. With that, we just dropped we just dropped the mic, as they say. Uh, <laughs> my, my, my man is uh my man is the future. And uh I'm really proud of you, Kay Levon. You you your mother's your mother did right, and please tell her I said so. Thank you, uh, thank you. I definitely. Yeah, so everybody, peace and light. Uh, you just heard some wisdom from Kay Levon. And follow him on all social media channels and follow me at Operation Hope, John O'Brien, and Operation Hope on our channels as we uh, try to start a new movement for our people. Uh, peace and light.